Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at easterly waves in the Caribbean. A prevailing wind is a wind that blows most often from one direction in most parts of the world. In the Caribbean, the prevailing wind is the northeast trade wind. These winds blow from the subtropical high pressure zone towards the equator, which means that they also pass over the Caribbean region. The trade winds are characterized by a lower moist layer and an upper dry layer. For most of the year, trade winds blow across the Caribbean, bringing settled or stable weather conditions. Within the prevailing northeast trade winds, a weather system known as an easterly wave or tropical waves often develop. Easterly wave is an elongated area of relatively low pressure. Unlike a hurricane, for example, this system does not have a closed isobaric pattern. It is therefore called a trough and is oriented in a north to south direction. Tropical waves are large scale systems of up to 2,000 kilometers across. They move from east to west across the Caribbean at speeds of about 20 to 35 kilometers per hour. As such, they will take about four days to pass a particular point. Easterly waves often impact the Caribbean between the months of May to November. They therefore often coincide with the hurricane season and may also develop into hurricanes themselves. They often form off the coast of West Africa, then travel across the Atlantic Ocean along the edge of the ITCZ. So remember that the trade winds have an upper dry layer and a lower moist layer. At certain times of the year, the lower moist layer gets lifted. Now, this lifting could be triggered from a variety of sources. As the air is lifted, low pressure conditions are created at the surface. This pulls in air and therefore result in winds. The rising air will soon begin to cool until it condenses to form rain-bearing clouds. This, of course, will bring about heavy rainfall. As you study easterly waves, it is important to pay attention to three elements or three parts of the wave. 
At the center is the most important part, which is the trough of low pressure, which is oriented from north to south. It is the axis of the wave. To the west of the trough is a zone of divergence, while to the east of the trough is a zone of convergence. Now, convergence involves the inflow of air at a point which results in air rising at the surface. Divergence is the opposite. It involves the outflow of air, which results in air being pulled down from above. Weather conditions will therefore be different at these three parts of the easterly wave. Now, before the arrival of the trough, that is, to the west of the trough, the wind is blowing from the northeast and is subsiding slowly downwards. As the air subsides, it is warmed, resulting in the decrease of relative humidity. With low relative humidity, it is difficult for clouds to be formed. So there will be few or no clouds. And this will therefore result in stable, bright, sunny weather conditions. This, of course, I hope you would have seen, is associated with the divergence going on at this part of the wave. This means that it is a good time to do outdoor activities like taking a walk, going for a picnic, or even flying a kite. However, as the wave gets closer, conditions will begin to change. The wind gets stronger and often starts blowing from the east, more clouds are also formed, bringing light rain with it. As the trough passes, the air becomes very unstable. Air pressure is reduced so the air rises vigorously. Thick cumulonimbus clouds will form, which will produce heavy rainfall. The wind speed is strongest at this time. So at this time when the trough is passing over, indoor is the preferred place. So those on the outside will be hurrying to get shelter. Now, as we go to the east of the trough, the wind will generally be blowing from the southwest, southeast rather. Air is also rising in this part of the wave and this is due to the convergence on this side. 
as such conditions are still a bit unstable there are still cumulus clouds in the sky and there is also light rainfall this of course is not as great as the rain occurring in the trough. So though most people will generally return outside, it is always good to walk with your jackets and your umbrellas as there is still light rain going on. Let us now take a look at a synoptic chart or a weather map showing the easterly wave. Now, the trough can be recognized by a bend in the isobars. To emphasize this trough, a red line is drawn through this bend. Notice to the west that the cloud cover is far less than the cloud cover at the trough and in the zone of convergence. Let's take another look at the easterly wave. Notice the difference between conditions to the west of the trough, at the trough, and the east of the trough. All right, so this is where we will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. As always, don't forget to like, to share, and definitely to subscribe.